for America. Celtics 20 and 5, best record in the NBA. Meantime, Cleveland Cavaliers, best home record in the NBA at home against Anthony Davis and LeBron James back in Cleveland. Lakers in town with a four-game road winning streak and went eight of their last ten. Darius Garland. Got him. Ah, man, they got some nice young talent up their there. Their backcourt was on fire tonight. Anthony Davis, meantime, coming off that 55-17, God bless you, that 55-17 game. Bob Leaves with flu-like symptoms oh, after oh. minutes. Yeah. Here go the flu right there. There, Jared Allen. Man, alive. 11, 10 out of 11 in the first half for 22 points. Mm. LeBron stepping back. Three-point lead for the Lakers. Donovan Mitchell. Oh, take that little oh, dude. Man, did he have a huge, increased his scoring in each quarter of this game in route to 43 on the night of season man. high. Told you he was a special player. 15 to four run to close out the half, 57-49 Cavs. He's a Ferrari, he, his, his stop to start oh. is unbelievable. Lakers go 16 to eight to start the third. LeBron had 21 and a season high 17 rebounds. Mm. They got the Cavs come back with an 11 to two run. Here's the catch. If the Cavs can sure up their bench, man, but they starting lineup is terrific. They bench is really, really weak, but man. You think it's weak? Yeah, yeah, I think it's weak. Mm -hmm. Lakers came back with a 12-2 run of their own. And then in the fourth quarter, the game was oh. tied at 92, and then Donovan Mitchell and company went on a 21-6 run. Oh, pull 17 up. fourth quarter oh. points for 45. Mm. And again, a season oh, high of 40. Look at the left, look at it. Oh, pull up right there, Donovan. 64 back back back. between Donovan Mitchell and Darius Garland in this one. And 70 points in the paint for the Cleveland Cavaliers coming off a game which they scored as a team 81 in a loss to the New York Knicks. And so they win at 116 to 102. And I think this game is just crying for some postgame yak and yak. yak. It was tough for us, you know, once. You know, AD went out. We had to kind of switch up our whole game plan. That's a tall task, uh, figuratively and literally, uh, for what AD has been doing for us over the last few weeks. It's always a uh, love coming back here. Um, obviously, you know, the memories that I have here uh, will never be forgotten. The reception I got from the fans here um, is, is mutual, that's for sure. Like, it doesn't matter who it is. You always want to spoil the homecoming. Like, I think that's, that's just a competitor, and you always want to do that. But, you know, I said it to the guys in the huddle, like, there's going to be a lot. It's going to be a lot going on. You can't run away from it. You've got to be able to embrace it. Understand it's going to be there. You're going to feel that emotion. And um, you've got to play through it. I know that he's ready for the big moment whenever it happens. It doesn't matter. You know, he could be playing Bugs Bunny from Toon Squad, you know. <laughs> he could, since LeBron's played tonight, you know, he could be playing anybody. He's going to be locked in, ready to play his hardest. And he's not going to let the moment outshine him. Big night for Jared Allen coming back after missing the last five. LeBron now 17 and three against the Cavs in his career, eight and two when he returns to Cleveland as they fall 116, 102. There was a difference of opinion before the game started about this game was bigger too, and you said this game was bigger for the Lakers. You said it was bigger for the Cavs. Yes. Um, explain at this point. Well, I think when you are up and rising team and you want people to take you serious, when they play the Bucks, the Celtics, the Lakers, or an elite team, you, you got to beat good competitions where people take you serious. They're the number three seed in the Eastern Conference. LeBron's coming back. This is a national television game. I thought they would be up for the challenge. I mean, the Lakers, they're trying to win the championship, which they got zero chance of. But if you're the Cavs, you're like, we want people to know we got a really good team. And uh, like, you, actually the soundbite told a story. You know, he said, this is gonna be a lot of stuff happening tonight. LeBron's coming, AD's on fire. So I, I'm glad that these young guys rose up to the challenge. You know, yeah. and I thought it was bigger for the Lakers. We all know they acquired a lot of talent, didn't start off well, AD didn't start off well, jumped on him. And, you know, the last couple of games he's been playing lights out basketball. This is the time. Now that we have our little formula, let's go with it. Let's see how many uh, games we can win in a row. Even though we're in 13th place, 
you know, one game out of the uh, eighth spot. So, you know, wanted to keep playing well. AD had to go down, so they went back to the old Lakers. But when, when he comes back, and if he's healthy, they continue to play that way. I can't they believe. have a shot at making the playoffs. I can't believe they are worse to, uh, in the Thunder. The Thunder, man, Shea Gilders is, is flat out ball. I told y'all, if y'all don't put that boy as, as a starter in the All-Star game, uh, it's a travesty because he's the, he's been the best two guard in the NBA all year, in my opinion. Donovan, well, Vincent, you have you, you you'd start him over Doncic and with Booker. A record. I just think what he's accomplishing, what he's change the rules every no, year. No, 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 no. Change the no. rules every year. You I, always talk about winning. I think it's such a you said you reward winning. Man's 11-13. Yeah. I don't want to hear that. What, what's your so, rules? So, so what about so we're not taking no Lakers? We're taking Doncic. No, no Doncic is going to be up there. Okay. But I'm just saying, Ernie, it's such a great story what he's doing. No, oh, I, I definitely think he should be an all-star, yeah. no doubt. And I just don't know. You know, I love. I, I just, hope he I makes it. I just don't know if he can be a star. I, I, be a star. I love Devin Booker. Yeah. I mean, he's my, you know. But, but he's playing without Chris Paul and still I, keeping that team. And, I understand And that. they're on but, top of the West. I understand that. But I'm just saying, man, it, this, what he's doing this season, like, everybody thought OKC was in the Victor, what's his last name? Wimbenyama. Yeah, they thought they were in the Wimbenyama sweepstakes. And they, like, playing competitive basketball. Shout out to the coach. And the boy Giddy is doing a fantastic job. But what Shea Gilders Alexander is doing is just really cool. Oh, it's a special season for him. I, I agree he is an all-star. Uh, but, Shaq, I will stick with winning. Uh, Devin Booker is, has put the Suns on his back. When you had Cam Johnson out, he was still there putting those ridiculous numbers. When Chris Paul is out right now, it's still there. I, I agree. Dantic is all playing MVP. I like. agree. So though, I, don't, I don't know if he but, overtakes but I'm that, just saying, but he is going to play yeah. a lot in the All-Star game. Yeah. I'm just saying, and like, it would be more special to him. Like, Luka and Booker, they're going to make the All-Star team every year. And I just think, like... He, and they deserve to this year. They, they do, but I'm saying he deserves some, yeah. some love, too. He gets the love. All right. 116-102, uh, uh, your final score is the Cleveland Cavaliers winners over the Lakers. We got one more highlight.